Hello guys, this is PantsMars36, and today's video is going to be a weathering tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some oil paints to create some basic highlighting, shadowing, and weathering effects on this Panzer III here. Now, of course, I'm showing you these techniques on a tank that is gray and brown. If your tank is any other color, like green or yellow or any of the common ones, I'm going to mention in a minute here the oil paints I would recommend if that were the case. Now, in this video, I use these Wilder weathering oils because I find them to be a very nice oil paint uh, for modeling. Unlike artist oils, like these usual brands you see here, Van Gogh and Windsor and Newton, which are, of course, very good oil paints. <laughs> I'm not saying they're bad. You should probably get those. Just, these ones are considerably less expensive. They're also already thinned down to a nice consistency to be applied for like panel fading and techniques like that. They also dry matte, which is sometimes an issue I have uh, with artist oils, though that might be the thinner. I don't know. And they also dry very quickly. Artist oils, if I'm doing this technique, panel fading, I have to wait about a day for them to dry. These, I have to wait about an hour. So I can actually start on one end of the tank, kind of like work to the back, and then when I'm done the, the rear of the tank, the front's dry again, so I can go over with the next layer of oil paint or, you know, chipping or whatever product is next. So in this video, these are the four oil paints that I'm going to show using because they're the four that I used to create all the highlights and shadows and discoloration effects on the Panzer III. I initially used these uh, colors here, these two ones, as the highlights and shadow, highlight shadow on the Panzer Grey. And then for the brown, this was also used as a shadow in some areas where I want a really dark shadow. But for most areas of the brown where I want shadow, I obviously use brown shadow. And then for brown areas of highlight, I used light dust. Now of course if your tank is not going to be like a grey or brown, and you're going to want to use different colors. So if it's yellow, I would recommend from personal experience Naples yellow as the kind of like highlight tone. Yellow ochre is a very nice kind of like mid color. So I use that for like very light streaking effects or discoloration. And then raw umber is a very nice shadow color on yellow. I would not use black on yellow because yellow is quite bright. Black is quite dark. But if your tank is green, then I would probably use black in it as a very dark shadow. So let's say some black is very dark shadows. This is a kind of like darker discoloration shadow effect and then this would be a highlight emerald green this is green earth but these are my very nice colors I use on like T34s and stuff like that now to begin I have a very thick kind of like square of paper towel here because I'm going to be pouring out some of these wilder oil paints now what some people might not like about them is that they're because they're very thin they kind of come out creamy like and as you can see there's going to be a little bit of oil that comes out too possibly just apply it like that you need paper towels and multiple layers of them kind of soak up any of that really thin effect there but now what you have in the middle is oil paint that is the right consistency for you to be using it's kind of like it's a little thicker than acrylic paint that you'd be applying but it still has a little bit of that kind of like waxiness that you like in oil paints now I'm gonna be using this brush here to do the application of any spots of oil paints that I want this is a 20 over 0 monogram this type of brush in case anybody's concerned and then for actual blending in of the actual spots of blue, I'm going to use this here. This is a 12 over 0 angular shader. I just like it because it's short so that it's not going to kind of like die. If I use a longer brush and do all that blending, it's going to like spread out everywhere. This one, since it's short, it'll last longer with all that kind of like grinding into the actual plastic. So let's get our Panzer III turret here. I've already got a little bit of that blue paint on my brush and we're just going to apply some little spots of it to where I want some highlights so we're just going to start. So now I've applied those little spots of blue and I want to blend them out because that looks pretty bad right now. And for that I'm going to use some Wilder Thinner of course. This is, I'm just using this because that's the same brand as the oil paints. You can use AK thinner that works exactly the same way. You can use any like odor, odorless thinner for this kind of blending you want. Of course, I have AK thinner. I've got my own art, artist oil thinner that I usually use, but I'm just drying out this oil thinner with these oil paints because I think they kind of are supposed to go together. So I did my brush in it, and then I kind of just wipe most of it off so there's really like no visible actual thinner on the brush anymore but there's still going to be a little bit on the inside. And then I'm just going to kind of get in there and try to blend out these areas. This takes a long time. It's pretty tedious, but eventually you'll kind of 
suck up most of them and uh, blend it around until you kind of got a layer that you like. So as you can see, that blue patina color has really brought some nice kind of faint blue hue to the areas on the upper surface here where we want to have some highlights, and then areas where I didn't, so like maybe like the front of the mantlet and some sides on the, on the turret didn't have that, so they're kind of like a mid-tone now. Now I really want to bring some shadows into certain areas, so we're going to go like around the cupola there, and maybe like on the bottom edges, like the angles here, I'm going to get some black in there. So once again, I've poured out the wild oil paint on my little spot of paper towel over here just get a little bit of it on my brush and I'm just gonna apply some areas where I want some black and be, be uh, very careful because black paint does cover a lot <laughs> thicker than a light color like the blue patina will so you have to be very careful in how much you apply Now I'm going to continue the application of the oil paints, but this time I'm going to be using the dark brown shadow color that I was talking about earlier. I'm going to be using this to make some shadows or kind of like discoloration darker areas in the areas of the brown camouflage. Now for the final discoloration effect, I'm going to do some very, very light highlighting with this light dust color. And I don't want this to be too extreme, so I'm going to be very careful with how I do this. Really, I'm just going to kind of mimic what I achieve with the blue. But all the time, all the same time being very careful about how I do it.
So as you can see, the weathering with the four oil colors on the turret is complete, and it looks very well unified with what I've done on the rest of the hull. Using just the four same colors, and I am very pleased how it came out. I think it's a really nice effect with the little gentle streaking on there with the browns that I kind of brought in over the blue, as well as the highlights and the shadows on the turret there, as you can see. That's really something you can also do with color modulation during the actual airbrushing of the camouflage on itself, using lighter colors and darker colors of like the grays and browns in this case, but I don't really do that because I'm not that great with airbrushing, and I find I have a lot more control doing it now during the weathering process with oil paints, because I can actually you know, build it up lightly, and then if I don't like it, I can use some thinner and take it off. If you're airbrushing on highlights and you do a little too much, you can't really take it off with thinner. You have to go in and spray darker colors, and you have to kind of layer it all over again, so... That can be a little more tedious than this is, and I like oil paints and I like weathering a lot more than airbrushing, so this is more my style, and I'm very happy with it, and I hope you guys are too. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and maybe learned something new, got some ideas for what you can do with oil paints, because, I mean, they're very versatile, all the chipping on the tool and everything you can see on here, apart from the actual gray and brown of the camouflage, all the colors, all the chipping, all the, like, the little mud effects I'm working up on the rear, that's all oil paints, so... Yes, as always, thanks for watching, guys. This is Panzermeister36, and goodbye.